Welcome to the Mission Mystery Notes YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to look at a photograph taken in 1975 by Eric Montague of the Buck's Head, and also tell the story of a drinking competition between Mr. Sparrowhawk and a pony in 1976. Let's get started. Well, first off, thing to bear in mind is that the Buck's Head building, as we see here, was rebuilt at the end of the 19th century, the beginning of the 20th century. There are a dozen photographs on the Merton Memories website of the Buck's Head, of which there are only two, but in fact they're the same photograph, that show the pub before it was rebuilt. And this is the better quality of the two, and the picture reference says it's a Tom Francis photo. So we're looking up the London Road, on the left hand side is the King's Arms, that also was rebuilt at the end of the 19th century. Unfortunately there's some trees obscuring the view of the Buck's Head pub, I don't think there's actually much to see if we look at the right hand side. A fairly, fairly cubish type building. The one that replaced it, the one that's in our photograph, the one that remains today, is much better looking. No doubt many stories have been told of this pub. And the one I particularly like was an article in the Sunday People in 1976. Mr. Sparrowhawk out drinks horse in Buck's Head. Not a particularly good photograph, I'm afraid. It looked like a cert for Toby the Pony when he met Ron Sparrowhawk in a challenge beer drinking contest. Observers of form in the public bar of the Bucks Head Mission, sorry, pointed to the size of his mouth, the length of his tongue, and his great capacity for liquid. Well, I hope we're talking about the horse there, not the actual fella. Anyway, challenger Ron Sparrowhawk, they argued, though known to be a fast man with a pint, was taking on more than his weight. The smart money was going on Toby, a proven sprinter over anything from one to six pints. The public bar was tense when timekeeper Mike Green, landlord at the Buck's Head, put up Toby's pint. It was a smooth three-lap performance. Three laps of that long tongue, and the pint was gone in a snappy six seconds. Then it was the turn of Ron Sparrowhawk. He looked confident as he took his stance opposite his pint, nicely placed at the edge of the bar. He raised his glass with a nice easy action, placed it to his lips. Then, as the crowd fell silent, Ron down the pint in an amazing three seconds. The contest was over. The dark horse had won. What the punters didn't know is that Ron Sparrowhawk of Bond Road, Mitchum, is an expert on the drinking capacity of animals. I've always been a drinking man, he said later, so naturally I've been curious about what other animals can sink. I wanted to put my theories to the test with Toby, hence the challenge. I just opened my mouth and pour. It's like tipping it down a drain. Toby has a long tongue, I grant you, but I've got the technique, and a long tongue is no match for technique. Watch the drinkers in any local. How many long tongues do you see? Mind you, that Toby can hold more than I can, but he hasn't got the speed. Ron, who owns a shellfish stall, was full of praise for his beaten rival. He's a plucky contest, that Toby, and I'm planning a rematch. Landlord Mike Green said that Toby started drinking beer six months ago. He has three pints in the morning at three at night. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Oh, I must admit, I don't look at other people drinking in pubs and wonder how long their tongues are. But anyway, moving on. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, press that like button, please, if you liked it. If you want to make a comment, leave a comment. I'll try and answer as many comments as possible. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, why not consider subscribing? And that's it for now. I think I'll go down to pub later. Bye for now.